Welcome back to the show, Sister Circle Live. Uh, Memorial High School in Texas is getting a lot of backlash for their students' interpretation of their Spirit Week's Jersey Day, turning it into Thug Day. Mm. Pictures of white students wearing cornrows, fake tattoos, giant chains, and flashing gang signs in honor of Thug Day. Mm. The school condemned the theme as an offensive dress violation and canceled the rest of Spirit Week. But according to some of the students' receipts on Twitter, Thug Day has been an unofficial part of the school's Spirit Week since 2015. Mm, four years. The theme drew criticism on social media for being culturally insensitive and racist. However, other people say it's harmless and not racist because, quote, it's thugs of all races. Ladies, is this racial? Well, I'm going to say I love how they created that look and that depicts what they think a, a thug, thug is. is. Mm -hmm. So I have a challenge with that as is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I actually, struggle. Yeah, with I'm that. struggling mm -hmm. with that. I am Selena. But let me just say this. <laughs> I also looked up the word thug and what it meant. Someone who is violent, someone who is uh, takes, takes things by, by force, force. Uh, someone who is of criminal activity. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, when I looked and from side to side, I, I started thinking about 45. Mm -hmm. And I just said, well, he's the thug. Mm -hmm. mm. It's in our president. Mm. I, in my opinion, I mean, the words add up to mm. his actions. So, so he is a thug. Yeah, I echo the sentiments of your first thought saying, oh my God, this is their definition. This is what they think a thug looks like, mm -hmm. which is, uh, to me, speaks to what America has uh, shown to what a, a thug looks like, which is a, a black man with cornrows and, 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 jersey and jerseys and, and, and chains. And chains. And That's the definition of what a, a thug looks like. So yeah. therein, like you, lies the problem for me. Mm -hmm. uh, this has been happening since 2015 per the kids, and the kids will tell you the truth. Yeah, they uh, do. What happened was it went down to the social media and then they got caught. Well, that's what mm -hmm. caught is what they got. Yes, you mm -hmm. got caught because it's been okay since then until you mm -hmm. got caught. So um, mm -hmm. they just need to have some type of sensitivity workshops. If that's even going to work, this is dumb. The whole thing is stupid. Well, um, I, I, not only is it racist, it's elitist, mm -hmm. OK? However, I'm perplexed <laughs> as to why <laughs> this is a whole subject down to the spirit week. Yeah. <laughs> why, why would you pick this concept? What, you know, spirit is like cheering. That's yeah, like happy. Spirit. You know spirit when you wear colors, school, school colors, colors yes. you know, mm -hmm. mismatch day. Mix match day. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, potato sack. Jump uh, down yeah. to the potato sack. Uh, Inside our day, blah, blah, Inside blah. Inside our day, a pajama day. Uh, who said, mm. you know what? Thug day. Yeah. Like, who's responsible for it was, this? Yeah, so, so it's supposed to be Jersey day, which the kids then turned into their own that version of That is horrible, of it. terrible, and bad. Okay. And I'm going to say something. I don't see anyone with a green and white jersey and wearing some blonde wig trying to be Larry Bird. Mm -hmm. Like, what's, what's going on? What's wrong with this picture? And Ooh, if you want to have point. Thug Day, what Snapped. you need to do is have everybody in a suit and tie, because that's what a thug truly looks like. Mm -hmm. You cannot look at this and say that they're not trying to depict what they think a black person getting real looks urban. like. Mm -hmm. They're calling it a thug because they depict black men as thugs, and that is not right, and that is not okay, and it's not the true definition. So I'm going to need you guys to go and read about what a thug truly is, and then go look at your mother and father, mm -hmm. your ancestors. Those are the thugs. Ooh, Trina, what is happening on today? She got my spirit. Yeah, she got <laughs> I got you on the table, so I'm on the leg. Yeah. Wow. And she got my spirit. I said, no, yeah. but it, it, is. it is. And you have some more uh, uh, historical definition for thug, too, Well, right? yes, I don't have any of my, you know, I don't have the books in front of me. But if you really look, it really started in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And I really wish I could expound on it. I'll, I'll probably do it tomorrow at the table just mm -hmm. so I can get some clarity yes. and understand so everybody will know. But just go into your little encyclopedia. You can even go on your little phone, phone Google it, mm -hmm. and it will tell you where the roots of thug came from. And it's just abhorrent to me yes. because it is ridiculous how we are being depicted. And mm -hmm. I just feel like things are coming full circle again mm -hmm. ever since a certain person came into office. Ever yeah. since yeah. I, 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 I feel like we're back in 1954. I mean, I wasn't born yet, you know, yeah. I'm just saying. My but I just, I just feel like we are taking a turn and it's not for the better, it's for the worse. Yeah. I agree. One, one thing you, that you mentioned is that, you know, with the Larry Bird yes. and the, and that means you really Jordan look at the, you really look at the stars that you clap yes. for on your football teams and mm -hmm. your and, and, and your basketball teams really as thugs. Appreciate yes. you sinking the ball and getting that touchdown. Wow. But where I really see you as is a thug. Mm -hmm. wow. wow, that's and a check. Deep. 
and, and a check. And throwback jerseys. The throwback jersey was created. That's African American culture. Um, no one created the throwback jersey um, fashion other than us. Yeah, I mean, we made it popular. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Cooperstown and all, yeah, that, all of that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and then there's that. You know, the cultural appropriation thing is really serious. Yes. Um, and I this is them. not for all people, obviously. This is yes, not, not for them. all people. Mm -hmm. But I look at some cultures and how they try to steal, but would never walk a day in our shoes. Yes. yes. In my really, and really don't want to walk a day in no, your they shoes. Don't. They're posers. They yeah. Let me tell you something. I've seen people want to reap the benefits yeah. of, from an African-American person, but don't want to be. African-American. Oh, absolutely. Okay. That's a lot. What's it's interesting is why do you even, it, what's interesting, you talk about it so bad, but then you start looking like us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, we could talk about this all, all day. day. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms.